Hi there, I'm Joe Tyler. Are you stressed out, wigged out, freaked out, feeling anxious, angry, or depressed? Want to know how people with real mental health problems learn to cope? Keep it right here and get the latest word from experts in the field like me, Joseph Tyler, a peer counselor at the state hospital, a speaker for the cause for mental health, as well as a state of Nevada NAMI president. Medications and therapy are the cornerstone for treatment for over how many million people in the United States today? This is a tiny little brain, but how many? 30 million people. Mm -hmm. Here on Race and Stigma, we find, we find hope for people whose lives have become unmanageable. So stay with us for the next half an hour or 20 minutes as we erase the stigma for people with brain disorders. Um, to introduce my guest this, this in my, for this backyard edition mm -hmm. of Erasing the Stigma, I'd like to open to say she's a writer. Donna Marie Shevovich knows sometimes, Donna, don't you know sometimes that the words won't come when you're at the typewriter? They won't come? And then sometimes they come so fast that they go straight into the garbage can. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, now I know that my guest, I've known my guest for over 12 years, I guess. And down through the years, Donna has attended many, many NAMI support groups, many, many. NAMI support groups, fun, NAMI fundraisers. She's a NAMI bug queen. We have the bug here, the NAMI bug queen. Um, she's she sold over forty five hundred dollars worth of those bugs, right? Something like that. Something like that. She's in convention. Yeah, not including the convention. She, she's a wonderful published poet, writer for this for our recovery journal newsletter, which she helped me find a name for. Do you remember that time on the flight on the, the back, on the way back? On the way back from the airport, on the way back on the plane, we were trying to determine what could be the name for the recovery journal. And we come up with the recovery. Why? Well, it's all about recovery, so it should be the recovery journal. <laughs> so, because it's a journal, like the like the Gazette sure. Journal. Oh yeah, big so, time like that too. Um, she's kept kept me on track as secretary for both NAMI Nevada and NAMI Northern Nevada. She's a real keeper. Okay. Every weekend we do an open mic right here in my backyard, right in this locale. And um, Donna and the rest of the Wits End Comedy Club, Tom and everybody, um, get Comedy Club players do like a little Lake Okaboji. <laughs> you know, Garrison Keeler on Lake Okaboji and where they produce the stars, or the, the, the stars <laughs> that never were, or whatever, up in, Ma in Minnesota. <laughs> We do a dance, comedy, and tragedy. No, no, not a tragedy. Yeah. But alas, this oration, the stigma, isn't about jokes at all. It's about what we learned at the National NAMI Convention, 2011, in Donna's hometown, Chicago, Illinois. What was your impression, Donna, of the convention 2011? I thought it was a wonderful event. I mean, there was so much networking, there was so much information, and I really got to do a lot of touchy-feely kind of stuff, you know, where I talked about my views on certain things and all that during sessions and stuff. And I think it was a real successful convention. They had to cut back on some things, you know, like the coffee and the snacks and stuff like that. And, but they did a pretty good job, I think, for what they had. Another thing, too, is that they should have had the convention at a, at a cheaper hotel. Because if they did that, maybe more consumers would be able to come to the event. So you say they should have done it at a cheaper... But every year they've done it at the Hilton, and we've managed to afford it some way, through bug sales or other <laughs> other reasons. But uh, we've managed to be able to perform, to, to, to be able to do oh, it. Oh, yeah. So let's... Um, now, and then I went to the State President's Council meeting, and you went to the State, Con the state Consumer Reps Council meeting. And, and I noticed that... We only had 29 states represented at the State President's Council, which is a far cry from the 50 that should have been there. And I also found that California, Donna, is building a new building for their NAMI, where some states are still working out of their offices, their home offices. Is so there's a real, that, a real yeah. discrepancy there. So, so what, what happened with you at the Consumer Rep? Well, 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 we did you put in your two cents worth? Or? Well, we held elections and stuff like that. And and we, yeah. talked, we talked about um, the operating procedures and stuff like that. It was kind of like a business meeting. Yeah. There really wasn't too much um, anything else besides a business meeting. Well, let's see. So 
But the brain, the brain is the most important part of our bodies. Exactly. I think you'd agree. Uh, of course. It makes us, it helps us to cogitate, cognate, and otherwise regurgitate. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> Why do we not regurgitate? Okay, so, um, what sessions did you find interesting about the specifics in the old brain? I wish I had my big brain, but I have my little brain. Okay. I thought Jill Bolt on her um, brain banking uh, session did a really good job. She talked about the brain and, our, and how we, as individuals, harbor 50 trillion molecular geniuses. 50 the, trillion molecular geniuses. That's, that's pretty cell, cool, huh? That's the cells in our body. Yeah, I went to that session too. Yeah. And she said something like that. She said that the amygdala is the part of the brain that controls anger and how safe you feel. So we just so Jesse, how's your amygdala doing today? And Joe would say, "Oh my aching amygdala." <laughs> <laughs> I know, but 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 the amygdala, in some way, determines how safe we feel. And so mm -hmm. and so, if 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 we're feeling, sense we sense a dis, displeasure with people or frustration with people, then we then we attach to them, and we might feel. Uh, um, we might feel like, like we're feeling out of sorts or something like that. Mm -hmm. And she, I remember what she said. She said, if you're talking to somebody, you, you start to get in an argument. She goes, nya 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 nya. You remember doing that? Nya 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 with somebody. And then and then the other person goes nya 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 nya, and you're nagging at them. And then the phone rings. You pick up the phone, and then you get to decide whether you want to go back to nya 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 nya, or whether or whether you just or you just let them go. And that's that's kind of a cool thing because you can just just you know decide whether you want to just kind of check out from arguing with a person or not. Exactly. So. Yeah, I'm not much for arguing with people either. So. Yeah. Okay. So um, now you shared Nevada's voice more than you usually do during the convention 2011. You shared some of the stuff that happens in Nevada. How has this helped you to grow as a human being, Don? Well, it helped me um, realize that there are things that we can do. There are things that, that can be done. And I am um, bring forward. Well, and 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 you and you learned about stuff. Well, I'm going to get to your sister at the end, but but I'm trying to think of. This 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 helped you to overspill on some of the stuff that you haven't done before, because you did share a lot about Nevada at the convention with other people. Oh yeah, you want to talk about that kind of stuff? Okay. Yeah. Um, I went to a session at Connection Groups, okay, uh -huh. and they talked about um, underserved populations, like inpatients and jailed and stuff like that. And I brought a thing that we have been doing in Nevada for a couple months already, and that is embracing the homeless population. Mm -hmm. And the lady who moderated the conference told me that was a really good idea to do that. Mm -hmm. So I was really proud of Reno Nevada for doing that. And then there was a um, thing about uh, CAT officers and um, mobile outreach safety teams, and they had a um, thing about mental health court. And I talked about, they were talking about how they can do these mental health courts and stuff that with little or no money. This well, NAMI could play a big picture in that because what a little affiliate in northern Nevada, NAMI, did was we raised $10,000 with our war two years in a row to equip and man a most vehicle, a mobile outreach safety team vehicle. And I was really proud of us for doing that. And another thing is that um, Mark Rochelle, our, our vice president of NAMI, Nevada, he uh, used to um, volunteer for the work he now gets paid for. Which I feel is an inspiration to anybody who's, who's doing what he's doing. Because maybe one day they'll be able to copy Nevada and do that. And you know what I got after that? A round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. And that's what sharing about stuff that you've done in your home state that measures up to some of the stuff that they were doing on the national level. Or, or at, at some other, in some other states, I should say. Yeah. So that's that's very cool. I thought that was really, that was really wonderful that we did that for the most people. I think, and you know what, Nanny, Nanny can do it. I mean, we can we can do these kind of things. 
think we just need to branch out and all of the other affiliates seem to do like we did. Set up to the play right away. Yeah, okay. So um um tell for our viewers also how it feels to share Oh you did that about the homeless. There's something there's something about the homeless. How long have you been doing that homeless the homeless outreach at the at the uh at the um, Record Street. Run Record Street, yeah. Tell us, uh, go been, into a little more detail about Record Street. Huh? Well, we've been doing Record Street for a couple of months. It's now. a connection support group, yeah. right? And, um, connection we, model. Yep. And we have um, an average of like two or three people beside the facilitators. Like we, had, we had some wonderful people last last Friday. It's a small, humble yeah. start. Yeah. What, what, one guy, I mean, I always do names for confidentiality, but one guy is blind. Stuff for that one lady was having trouble with the medication and stuff. One guy was really happy because he got services at Mammoth, like a place to live and stuff like that, and you know, all that good stuff. Yeah, and that's good. That's good, though. So it's a good feeling, right? It's a good oh, yeah. feeling, and, and that's a personal growth kind of a thing for you yeah, too, right? Yeah, and then we have, then we have, we have uh, snacks and coffee, which go over pretty good too. Yeah, yeah. They come in with food, huh? Mm. Okay. So. Let's see, let's get back.